All right, folks, what I want to do is take a second here to talk to you about chatterbaits. Uh, chatterbaits is a bait that, it's not a new bait by any means, but it's a bait that a lot of people aren't familiar with. You know, it looks like a jig, but it's got this funny piece of metal on it. When should I use it? Why should I use it? Those are some of the questions we're going to try to answer right now. Cold water fishing, guys, you can fish spinnerbaits. Spinnerbaits have been used for years. It doesn't matter if it's 100 out or if it's, you know, 50, 40 out. Spinnerbaits work. The advantage of a chatterbait, as you can see right here, is that the speed you can fish it at and the vibration that it puts off. Now, vibration is key, guys. When you're talking about fishing and we talk about crankbaits and how they're built and spinnerbaits and how they're built and the types of blades, that all goes into the vibration sense. If you can keep this generic thought in your mind, if it's cold conditions, the fish are negative, it could be the middle of summer, summer excuse me, and the fish are negative to neutral. They don't want to bite. You want to go with the least amount of vibration possible. So a bait that's really thumping and putting off noise, that's for aggressive fish, really getting their attention. If it's not and they're negative, least amount of vibration. Just always remember that. That's where the chatterbait comes in. Here's the chatterbait. Strike King Pure Poison, guys. I run these almost exclusively. This is my chatterbait of choice. Thin profile blade up here. A lot of different weights. This is the Texas Craw pattern here, which I absolutely love. This color for us, I love it. Early spring, catch a lot of big fish on it. It can be utilized in a couple different ways. What you do is you tie onto this front clip right here, and the bait goes through the water this direction like this. Now with this surface being turned like this, it allows you to go extremely slow. So as this water is pushing into this blade, it wants to dance like this, which is putting off just a little tiny, tiny bite. It's like you're using a lipless crankbait, just real, real subtle. But by, by being faced like this and the water coming in, forward this way versus a spinnerbait this way, you can go super slow. Well, when it's cold or they're negative to neutral, you want to go slow, but you still got a little shake there. The other thing that you can do with this bait is drop it down, let it hit the bottom and lift it up like a jig. Jig it, let it fall. Jig it, let it fall. It'll shake on the way up and then fall to the bottom. Shake on the way up, fall to the bottom. A lot of times fish that are cold water periods or neutral to negative, that dropping action when it falls, that's when they're going to want to grab it. So you can take this guy right here, move it real slow, which is a key, and it's got just a little tiny bit of, bit of vibration, which is the other key. Now the pure poison bait, something I like about it, it's got the built-in trailer right here. Now you can throw a zoom split tail trailer on here. This bait, we would use a chartreuse trailer on it. But just keep that in mind. Slow speeds, light vibration. Lots of vibration, higher speeds. Cold, active. 